Lost but not forgotten, at least not anymore. The remains of over 200 bodies from the county of Waterloo's House of Industry and Refuges graveyards lay under sidewalks, city streets and even backyards. And now, the region of Waterloo and the city of Kitchener want to honour them with a memorial. Region Chair Ken Sealing says it's a good start to remembering those long gone. Uh, over the years, these cemeteries, I think, were sort of forgotten and uh, the lands were sold and the, the graves were never marked permanently. And I think it's a, uh, it's a good step to try and uh, at least identify some of the areas and uh, create some sort of memorial. The House of Industry and Refuge opened in 1869. It housed the elderly, mentally challenged and others who couldn't care for themselves and was the first of its kind in Ontario. It was on the outskirts of then Berlin on a vast area of farmland, now Frederick Street, making its burial grounds an ideal spot for the city to use when it pushed expansion after the First World War. Ceiling suggests the fact that a facility like this even existed when it did shows the city cared and was ahead of its time. I think it was an indication that this community at least saw a need to look after people and uh, however you might view how they looked after them, uh, there was a place for them and people could uh, lodge people there and that was done from, from the early years, from the 1860s on. There are suggestions that two of the graves are near Weston's Bakery and the Polish Legion. Once they pinpoint exactly where they were, they'll have a better idea of where to put the memorial and whether it will be pictures or a bigger one of these. If the memorial ends up going in a cemetery, Kitchener Mayor Barry Verbanovic thinks it could be a resting place for any remains that may be found. So I think to uh, be able to find a, uh, a way to memorialize them and, uh, and in some cases, you know, in the future if they are disinterred, uh, a, a permanent uh, resting place, uh, it really gives them the, the, the dignity that, that everyone deserves at the, at the tail end of their lives. Verbanovic has been seeing more and more support from the community and his staff is ready to work with anyone who wants to get in on the effort. For Spoke TV, I'm Sarah George.